War Eagle, y'all, my name is Caroline Green and I'm the Panhellenic President. War Eagle, y'all, my name is Sydney Bowden and I'm serving as this year's Panhellenic Vice President for Recruitment. Welcome back to our weekly video series. This week we will be going over the second round of recruitment, which is Philanthropy Round. Philanthropy Round lasts three days this year and each party during the round will be 35 minutes long. You will be invited to up to 13 philanthropy parties, um, but don't worry if you don't have a maximum schedule of 13 parties because most PNMs don't, um, so don't be discouraged. I will say that philanthropy is the most fun round of recruitment, um, so we are so excited to share more details about it with you. In your registration, you will choose one shirt to wear during philanthropy round. This is your PNM shirt. This is provided to you by Panhellenic, but you can also order additional shirts. This round is three days and it gets hot and sweaty. And so you might not want to do laundry. So you can order up to four shirts, um, not at all necessary, but they are $13 each. Additionally, we recommend with this that you wear some sort of structured bottoms, whether that be flowy shorts or a cute skirt. Um, just make sure it is appropriate in length in some of these parties you might be sitting and so just keep that in mind when you're choosing the bottoms for your outfit. As far as shoes go, I would choose something comfortable whether that's cute sneakers or sandals. If you do choose to wear heels, definitely bring an extra pair of comfy shoes for your break um, during parties. Um, other thing is that feel free to do super cute jewelry. You'll all be in the same shirt, um, just different colors during this round. So you can do something that makes you pop, makes you stand out. Um, you won't be able to bring anything into parties like a purse or bag. So just keep this in mind when you're choosing your outfit that don't center around a bag or any accessory like that. Yeah, absolutely. So now we're going to give you a bit of an idea of what it's like to walk into a philanthropy party. So whenever you walk in, you will get picked up by a member of the chapter. She'll introduce herself to you and she'll maybe ask you a few get to know you questions because it is the first in-person round of recruitment. Um, and then after that, they will sit you down either on a bench or on the floor, like Caroline said, to watch a video about their local and national philanthropy. So again, make sure that you consider that whenever you're choosing your outfit. Once you've watched the video, the chapter will tell you a little bit more about their specific philanthropy events that they might put on annually um, or any sort of other fundraising things that they do that are specific to their chapter. Throughout the party, you might also be asked questions about your high school extracurriculars, any service projects that you were involved in, or any philanthropies that you personally are passionate about. They really just want to get to know you and get to know um, what makes you passionate. So feel free to ask your hostess questions as well, even though she'll be asking you a good number of questions throughout the round. Remember that recruitment is a mutual selection process, so um, you want to learn as much about the chapters as they want to learn about you throughout your conversation. Don't be nervous for these parties. Honestly, most of the chapter members are just as nervous as you might be walking in, um, but they're just so excited to finally meet you in person, so it'll be really sweet. Once you're done attending all the philanthropy parties on your schedule, you will go to your Pi Chi and you will preference together in person. So for Sisterhood, you can have a max of eight parties. So if you were invited back to more than eight for philanthropy round, you will rank your top eight as number one and you will rank the other chapters in order from your favorite to least favorite. If you were invited back to less than eight for this round, you will submit all of your parties as number one. It's really important when you're going through your parties to think about how you felt. Um, was the conversation with your hostess? Was she someone you see yourself being friends with? Did you feel welcomed in the party? Do you see yourself as a member of that chapter? It's really important to consider these things when submitting your preferences because this is ultimately um, what helps you get through the week and find your forever home. Um, with your Pi Chi, you will submit these preferences and you will probably go over some notes with her, some feelings about um, those parties. And so definitely keep a notebook with things um, like what you talked about or how you felt. We'll, we've said it before and we'll say it again. Always, always, always keep notes, whether that's in a notebook. You'll have um, places to take notes in your PM handbook, but you can also create a notes app in your phone. That's what I did, so I always had it with me. 
Yes, absolutely. So a few last minute reminders for philanthropy round. Um, this, like I said before, is the first in-person round of recruitment. And honestly, when you walk into the village for the first time, it can get really confusing where all the chapters are laid out because the outside of them, they all look pretty much identical. So with that being said, if you see us or if you see any other members of the recruitment executive board on the concourse of the village, under the big white tents, any pie guys, feel free to ask us if you're lost on trying to find a different chapter. We'd be glad to help you. Um, we're trained on where every single chapter room is, so I can you can ask me pretty much any chapter room and I can point you to where it is. So don't worry about that. But also, if you want to try to find it yourself, there's a map for the village on the back of your handbook, and you'll receive that handbook on the night of kickoff. So that way you can take a look over it and make sure you're a little bit familiar with it before you walk into philanthropy round. The recruitment executive board will be in different shirts throughout the week than your pie guys and we will always be in the center of the village so if you ever need anything in these in-person rounds you know where to find us um we will be very easy to find and we'll be happy to answer your questions but that's all we have for this week you can join us next week where we'll talk about the third round of recruitment which is sisterhood round bye y'all